The AutoDS store settings can be found in the settings icon down here. Here are the options that you have in the store settings. You have your lister, the pricing, orders, and general settings. Each supplier over here has its own settings which you can set and then AutoDS will save it for you. So every time you're uploading products to a certain supplier, you can use the settings which you're saving here. Here you can choose which store you wish to apply the settings to. So in this example, we're going to stay with AutoDS Demo 1 as our store. So let's go over the options. Right now we're going with Amazon US for this example. If you wish to add more suppliers, you can do so by clicking down here and then add whichever supplier is missing from the list and then just click add supplier. So let's go back to Amazon US and change the store settings for this supplier. So the first option that you'll have is to change the product quantity. So each product that I upload from Amazon US, I would like a quantity of let's say five for each product. The default item country where it's coming from, make sure that it's set on the correct country. The city matters less than the country, but don't mess up on the country if you're dropshipping on eBay. If you don't know which city the item is coming from, just leave the default option. Next, you can choose your shipping method. If you want to go with the cheapest method, cheapest with tracking or fastest with tracking, the default template you want to go with. And you can choose if you want to apply the changes to all of the existing products from the supplier or just apply them to the new ones from here on out. Next, if you click on pricing, you'll be able to change the break even for every product that you upload to the supplier. So for example, let's say my Amazon break even is 20%. So change that to 20%. Next, you can choose if you want to go with dynamic profit. What this means is you can choose if you want to make a certain profit from a certain price range. For example, for all of the items that cost from zero to $100, I want to make an extra fixed profit of $5 and another 15% profit. Now I can add another rule from every item that costs from $100 to $200. I want to make an extra $10 profit plus another 13% for example, and I can keep adding more and more rules as much as I see fit. And in the end, if you want to remove the rules, you can do so and it'll start deleting them from the last one up. Remove rule, remove rule. Now I have no rules at all. I can turn it on, turn it back off again. Other price settings that we have, you can choose if you want to have the compare price option, which means you'll have like a $30 price slashed out to $25 for example. So that's a nice way to grab the customer's attention. Set price sense value means the price will round itself to 0.99 cents or any other price that you set over here. Include shipping price will have the price that you set include shipping already inside. So the product will have free shipping. Apply changes to existing products. Like I said before, we'll apply all of the changes that we made here to all of the products that we already have on our stores from the Amazon US supplier. And moving forward to the order settings. So here you have two options for the automatic orders. One is the fulfilled by AutoDS service and the other is automatic orders. The difference between fulfilled by AutoDS and automatic orders is that on fulfilled by AutoDS, AutoDS already have their own buyer accounts. They will buy all of your products for you from your suppliers. They'll take care of automatic ordering, updating the tracking numbers, taking care of your returns and refunds. All that you need to make sure of is to have enough balance inside of your Fulfilled by AutoDS account. Once you have enough balance, the orders will start issuing themselves automatically. So the difference between that and automatic orders is that on automatic orders, you have to supply your own buyer accounts with your own payment information inside of them. And AutoDS will automatically fulfill your orders using your buyer accounts with your payment information. Whichever service you choose, AutoDS will automatically update the tracking numbers on AutoDS and on your shop. Here you can override the customer's phone number. So if you choose to do so, every time a product is sent to your customer, instead of having their real phone number put inside, you can choose whatever number you want. So for example, when they get a delivery from Amazon, you don't want UPS to send the customer an SMS that he has an Amazon package on the way. So that's the override feature. Maximum purchase order price is the maximum price that we want AutoDS to automatically issue our orders. So for example, if I get any order over $250,
AutoDS will not automatically fulfill it until I go inside my account and see what's going on with this order and if I want to issue it by myself. Maximum loss is the maximum amount that I'm willing to lose on an order and still have AutoDS fulfill it for me. So there's no reason why you should lose money on any order. But if, for example, you uploaded some products without price monitoring and the supplier raised the price by 10 or 50 or even $100, if you don't want to lose any crazy amount, just set your maximum loss to let's say $4 and any new order with $5 loss or more will simply not be issued and then you can choose whatever you want to do with it. Next, you have your automatic messages to your clients. So when you're drop shipping from Amazon, the packages get sent in gift packaging and you can edit whatever message you want sent to the customer. Thank you for buying from our shop. Please leave a positive feedback and whatever you want to write. Okay, so just click save. That's going to save whatever message you wrote. And then you're going to have a unique tracking email which you provided or had it provided for you by AutoDS depending on which service you chose over here, whether fulfilled by AutoDS or automatic ordering. And that's it for the order settings. Now let's move on to the general settings when we're uploading new items to the Amazon US supplier. So the first option that we have is your default weight unit. You can choose if you want to use weight units in pounds, grams, ounces, kilograms, whatnot. Automatic SKU filling. I recommend to have it off. Otherwise, your competitors are going to have an easier time grabbing your items from you. Monitoring minimum product quantity is the minimum product quantity that I want the supplier to have and still have stock in my store. So if I choose a minimum product quantity of three, but my supplier only has two units left, AutoDS will take the product out of stock until the supplier has at least three or more product quantity in stock. Maximum shipping days is the maximum amount of shipping days that I want AutoDS to keep the item in stock. And if my supplier, for example, if it'll take him 15 days to ship the item, but my settings are on 10 days, then AutoDS will take it out of stock until the supplier can deliver the item within my maximum of 10 shipping days or whatever number I have set over here. And choosing from the suppliers table makes AutoDS prioritize whether we wanna go with the cheapest items first or prime items first. So if I go with Prime first and I want to upload Prime products only, I won't have any problems at all. But if I choose cheapest first, I need to uncheck Prime only because then AutoDS will also monitor products that are not Prime and upload the cheapest ones first. And when you click Prime only, if you have any products in stock that are not Prime products, AutoDS will simply take them out of stock. And that's pretty much all of the options that we have in store settings. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below and I will personally answer them. Please also subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay updated with everything that's going on in the dropshipping world and learn more cool features about the AutoDS monitor.